Hey guys, get level here, and today I'm gonna show you how to display your heart rate on stream while you're playing spooky games, while you're doing your Halloween theme streams, or just in general, all year round. So the principle is pretty simple. We're gonna use a website that takes data from a device and turns it into a cool little widget that you can use on your live streams. Now that website I'm talking about is Pulsoid.net. So go ahead, go to that website and create an account. So top right, you'll see sign up. Obviously, you can read all the information that will basically tell you everything I'm going to tell you in this video, but more. So I do recommend you go to that website and actually read what's written on there. I'm going to log in with my account. You can also log in with your Twitch account if you wish. And it is going to bring me to my widget. You will probably get the welcome page. The important part is to look at the left menu here. So we have welcome, we have dashboard, we have widgets. Okay, now dashboard is what's gonna tell you the status that you are at. Right now we're offline. That means that our heart rate monitor is not connected and we don't have any value, all right? So let's make that happen. On the front page here, it will show you a list of compatible heart rate monitors. But if you just wanna go with the cheapest one, I recommend the one that I have, which is the Cuspo H6. There will be a link in the description and affiliate link for you to get it. And right now this is going for about 30 bucks US. It used to be 15, but unfortunately, with the pandemic it is now double the price so maybe check to see if you can get a used one although it's kind of icky to use a used heart rate monitor so the Cuspo actually looks like this and in the back of it you'll see those two prongs and of course the battery it will also come with a strap and the back of the strap that is going to go against your chest now in the instructions for the Cuspo they tell you to moisten those, this part, if you watch my stream, you know that I, um, <laughs> that I moisten those prongs and people call me an idiot because of it. But now you know. Something that you know is that once you attach this strap, I would advise you attach it first and have this basically right here at the bottom and in between your pecs. And then make sure that the logo is actually facing upright. So we can put it like this. Okay. And then you can just use the little hook on the strap to fasten it around your chest like this and of course you can adjust it so i'm gonna do that now and it is secured so step one make an account step two put on the cuspo doesn't have to be in that order and now step three download the pulsoid app on your phone and then find the cuspo so go to your app store type pulsoid and this is what it looks like you'll recognize the logo and click install once it's installed you can open it And it will bring you to that screen where you need to log in with the same information you just logged in to your account with. So if you logged in with Twitch, just log in with your Twitch credentials, ID and password. Then it's going to require some access. You just have to say yes and then you're good. Oh my God, my phone is dirty. So allow Pulsoid to use devices location, allow. And now it will start scanning the Bluetooth uh, devices in your area. Granted that you activated your Bluetooth. Sorry, I should probably should have said that, but... Make sure that your Bluetooth is activated and now Pulsoid will look at it. If you find, if your phone finds the Cuspo, do not, do not pair it. You don't need to pair it. Just make sure that it finds it and then you're good. Then here in the list on Pulsoid, we're going to go ahead and find our Cuspo and it's right there. We're going to tap it and we'll see the status. And as you can see, it's already showing my heart rate. Now let's go back to the website because it is communicating with the website. So now when you're on the dashboard, you will see that the current status is online, pulsing, and then you will find the value. Now how do you add that to your live streaming software? We go to widget on the left here, boom. And now you have a list of a bunch of widgets that you can use. So as you can see, there's a lot to choose from. You can even have a real heart so you can see here. But let's go to this one, for example. Let's go configure and up top here, we will find the actual browser source link that you need to paste in your broadcasting software. So let's copy this or just click copy. Boom, it's copied and I'm using OBS right now to record. So let's just put it in. I'm going to disable the preview and I'm going to go click plus to add a new source. I'm going to click browser. I'm going to not going to name it right now, but you should probably name it heart rate or something. And then in the URL part, I will paste that link and click OK. Now, if everything works well, you should be seeing my heart rate right now. I can't see the preview. Let me enable the preview real quick. Boom. Oh, look at that. That's my heart rate. And I can prove to you that it is my heart rate. I can hyperventilate. Please do not try this. And now I'm calming down so it should go. 
I am extra excited because I'm recording a tutorial, okay? Normally, my heart rate is like 75, 85 uh, at rest. Anyways, as soon as I start talking, it goes back up. So how do we add this to Streamlabs OBS, for example? Let's open it up. Okay, so we're here in Streamlabs OBS and I want to add my heart rate to the screen. I would go click on the plus, add source, go to browser source and then add source. And same thing again, URL, you just paste that code that you just copied and click done. Depending on the widget you chose, it will show up here. Now you can resize it, you can put a filter on it, you can make it scroll, you can add it to your overlays, whatever you wanna do. Let's go back to the Pulsoid website. You can also change a bunch of options when it comes to the ranges. If you want the red to be at a certain uh, range and stuff like that, even the font, the alignment, everything. Let's go back to widgets. And of course you have all of this that you can show. So I invite you to go and actually look at everything that is available in here. Note that the, the app is free and the basic service is actually free for a couple of widgets. If you want to have access to more complex and intricate widgets, you can get the bro plan, which Pulsoid was actually kind enough to give me a full year of the bro plan, as they call it, um, for free. So I absolutely appreciate that. But as you can see here, um, just by going to the website and looking up here, you can see all the widgets that are part of the bro plan. Look at that. You have the red frame, kind of like in Call of Duty when you're getting hit. So <laughs> that's pretty cool. You can also track your stats and they have the system where you can actually watch your VODs and see the highlights. Basically, the, when you peek at your heart rate, it will show you those parts in your VOD. On the dashboard, you can see the latest updates. For example, there's two new widgets for Spooktober. Let's check them out. Boom, as you can see, they are here. And this was the basics of how to show your heart rate on stream. Make sure you check out the links in the description for the different heart rate monitors that you can buy to work with Pulsoid. I will also link article about Pulsoid that really goes into detail on how to make this work. So if you have any questions, make sure you read that article first. If you're looking for some spooky overlays to make your Twitch channel look dope for this Halloween season, I actually have a bunch of Halloween themed uh, overlays. Some of them are free, the rest are very affordable, so check them out. And if you check top right on your screen right now, you will see a video that YouTube thinks is the best video for you to watch after this one. But at the bottom of it, you will also find my most recent video. So check it out. But in the meantime, thank you for watching. Go out there, make me proud, get level, out.